Now, the Constitutional Court is set to hear a landmark case on parental leave inequality with significant implications for fathers, adoptive parents and same-sex couples. Three years ago, Werner and Ika van Weyck chose Werner as the primary caregiver for their son, James, a decision that led them to challenge laws that enforce differing parental leave based on gender. Bradley Swanepoel from the Commission for Gender Equality argues that the law should empower parents to make these decisions independently. I, I definitely think we need to recognize the fact that in the 21st century, um, the parenting roles um, in a family are very much equal. Um, I think we need to recognize that in the 21st century, you know, you, you have a situation where both parents um, have to work and that in particular families, it might make more sense for the father to be the primary caregiver of a newborn than it is for the mother, as is the case with uh, the fund vagues. Um, so, uh, and, and ultimately, as the High Court said, um, the decision as to who is going to be the primary caregiver of, of, a, of a child, of a new child to a family, should be the parents' decision that they discuss between themselves. You shouldn't really have a law that says, okay, well, we are going to assume that it's the mother that is going to be providing primary care for the child um, and that the father is going to play a secondary role. Um, yeah, so that's what I think.